will speak about four must plugins that you need in order to be from a noob developer to a superstar developer. And I will show you specifically four plugins for Eclipse, which is a very popular IDE. That of course doesn't mean that these plugins will not work for other IDEs like NetBeans or, or Intel Gia. So, the first of them is Sonar Lint. So, what it is Sonar Lint? Sonar Lint it is uh, um, an Eclipse plugin that provides on the fly feedbacks to developers for bugs, uh, SQL injection, other uh, vulnerabilities that your code might have, and it supports Java, JavaScript, PHP, maybe Python, and other languages. So let's see how SonarLint works inside Eclipse. So here it is a class uh, that I have opened, a Java class. So here you can see uh, with blue the bugs or vulnerabilities that SonarLint has found. Uh, but by the way, I'm on Eclipse and I have installed uh, Eclipse Dark Theme. That's another plug plugin that we will talk uh, another time. So, for example, it has found this vulnerability here. So it says that refactor this method to reduce blah blah blah. So we can go here and see all the issues that this particular class has. So one of them may be this issue. If I double click I can find it inside the class. I can see the description of why I should uh, remove this issue from the project. So here it is the why. It is very detailed and it is a must plugin. But of course SonarLint alone is not perfect. And here comes Find Bugs Eclipse plugin. Find Bugs is something like SonarLint. It is doing uh, almost the same job, but it is better at some things from SonarLint and it is better in some others from SonarLint. So you have to combine them both. And when you combine them both, you have this thing here. You have uh, uh, this icon here when uh, find bug uh, plugin finds a bug and uh, if you click on it and keep it pressed you can see uh, what this particular bug is about it is very detailed like sonar lint and it is a lifesaver so let's move on on the third plugin Almost every application has dead code. We know that. And when a lot of developers are inside, uh, are building an application, the more dead code and unnecessary code might be there. So here comes unnecessary code detector for Eclipse. Let's see inside the code. I have already run it and let's open this class. Um, you can run it by going here, for example, I didn't set for find bugs, you go right click on your project or Java file or package and go find bugs, find bugs and it will detect the bugs and it will say you. For unnecessary code detector you do the same thing and you go right here. Sonar lint, uh, lint runs automatically and you don't have to press anything. So. Let's go here and that's the unnecessary code it has find, found or something like this. Here it says change visibility of class to default because for some reason, for some reason it is saying that which you have to do it. Okay. Um, that's about uh, 
unnecessary code detector and let's move on on the number four which is java source attacher i'm sure that uh, many times that you have downloaded uh, external libraries from the internet external jars like for example i have gone inside the project here and you can see that it has uh, a million external uh, jar files so for some of them you don't have uh, the source code you don't have uh, the source code so you are trying to search it on the internet and you may or you may be not find it so installing this plugin java source attacher you go and right click attach source code and it will find the source code for uh, that particular jar file it may find it or it may be not um, for example here I have tried it in 10 and it has found uh, for example for seven of them the source code it is searching on maven and other common uh, sites to find it so it is very easy so that it is about this video I will make more about must plugins you must have as a developer in Eclipse and thank you for watching this video